Now that you're able to access the supercomputer and edit your codes on the supercomputer, let's start going through the changes that we need to make in order to fully change your .f90 file over to Fortran. First, the first thing we're going to do is add the program name on the first line of the code. So open up the file and type in program and then give it whatever name you want, like 1D FGTD code. Next, add implicit none. Implicit none on the next line right after the program name. By including this, we're ensuring that the code does not create any new variables if we misspell the name of a variable, for example. In other words, when we include this line, we have to specifically declare every variable and array that we want to in use in the code. Third, because we added implicit none, we need to specifically declare all the variables and say whether each one is a real number or an integer. All of these declara declarations need to be done at the very beginning of the code, right after implicit none. For example, on the next lines you might write real and delta will be a real number, uh, dt, c, and then for integers you can write integer, n max is an integer, i max, and i when you're recycling through the i values. For the arrays, we need to specify if the arrays will be holding real numbers or integers, and how many numbers the array should hold. Since the EZ and HY arrays will be holding real numbers and will be one-dimensional arrays, we can tell the compiler this by writing real allocatable, which means we're going to allocate how big these are later, but right now we're going to say the dimension of these arrays they're one-dimensional. That's why there's only one uh, colon in these. And then put a double colon, and now we can list however many arrays we have that are one-dimensional and real numbers. Easy and HY. Go ahead and finish declaring any other variables and arrays that are in the code.